Hi, my name is Naomi Perkin and I'm one of the instructors of the You Too Can Heal workshop. In this video, I would like to share with you what spiritual healing is, what you need to do to become a good healer, how you can actually test your spiritual healing power and how you can learn to give spiritual healing by using a balanced, easy to learn yet effective technique taught in just one day. Shall we explore? When you see others in pain or in need of help, naturally you want to help them. But what can you do? Offer them some words of advice, maybe some support? Certainly that will help, but what if there was something else that you could do that would make a noticeable or even a life-changing difference in someone else's condition and greatly improve their well-being? The answer is You Too Can Heal, which is also the title of the groundbreaking book by Dr. George King, published in 1976. You see, we all have the ability to tap into the unlimited supply of spiritual energy around us and send it to people, to animals in need, or indeed send it to the world as a whole. We can all do this. I came across a book on the internet. I was browsing um, on the internet and I saw a book called You Too Can Heal. Which was exactly, was this was the book, yes, You Too Can Heal, which is exactly, the title really spoke to me, because it was just saying the opposite of what I'd said, but it was only certain people with a special gift. And um, so straight away I wanted to read the book, and I downloaded it on Kindle for relatively inexpensively, and read it, and was really taken by how simple um, and very practical the advice was in the book. So I began... Um, to do the method of healing that it described. I began to do it on my, on my husband, first of all, who was a willing candidate and who... Um, That's Noel, is it? It's Noel, my husband. Yeah. And he, he said, I mean, I, I began to feel quite quickly the uh, sensations in my hands and sensation of heat. And he also said that he experienced this when, when I was following the technique. So I was encouraged to find out more about it. Spiritual healing is a natural process where the universal life force, also known as prana or chi, is conveyed from the healer into the patient. Experienced yogis, Shaolin monks and other martial artists have harnessed this universal life force to perform some superhuman feats of great strength and healing. You too can channel this energy and bring relief to those in desperate need. You tell us what happened after that. Well, after the day after, actually, I visited my mum, who um, had had a fall, perhaps about a month before, maybe a bit longer, but she had been to the hospital and been told there was no fracture. But she was getting a lot of pain in her right shoulder, in her left shoulder. And um, I asked her that if I could practice the healing, and I told her that I'd been on the workshop, and she was quite open-minded about it and, and was quite happy for me to do this. And as she sat, and uh, as I had my hands at either side of her, her arm, um, very still, I began to feel the heat in my hands. But more significantly, I heard, heard what I can only describe like clicking sounds. The sort of sound that if you moved your arm or moved a limb, it would click. But there was no movement, because she was sitting quite still, my hands were quite still. And it was a kind of repeat, repeated um, click, 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 click. Quite distinctive, and it was quite astonished. I was quite astonished, but I knew that it was something that must be happening, and at the same time, I was feeling the energy in my hands. Afterwards, I asked if she'd had noticed it. She said she didn't hear it because she'd taken her hearing aids out. Yeah. Uh, but she said, and these were her words, she said, I could feel the bones moving inside my arm. Now, that was quite remarkable because I, I'm not um, from a medical background, I'm a teacher, I don't have any particular knowledge of anatomy and I wasn't thinking, oh, this and that needs to change, this needs to happen. I don't know what was happening, whether it was some calcium deposits or whatever it was, but the point was that it, it made me realise that this energy must have some kind of intelligence. It must have some kind of intelligence to know where to go and what to do to fix something 
that is quite independent of the knowledge I bring and um, I'm simply bringing myself as a facilitator wanting to help, just gen having a genuine desire to, to help someone get well. You don't need to be perfect, be an angel, be psychic or even be able to diagnose a condition to be a healer. All you need is faith in your healing ability, have compassion for others, which is a key, and also you'll need a good technique. Now place the palms facing each other and visualize white light flowing out from the palms of the hands. Try to see and also feel the energy between the palms. Just monitor the sensation. Do you feel any tension between the palms of your hands? Any tingling in the fingers or warmth? And I'm definitely feeling um, pressure between the palms of the hands. It's all building up. It's very interesting. It's very tangible, spiritual energy. It's very tangible energy. You can see as well, maybe like a mist, white mist building up or a dazzling white light. Once you have finished with the practice, brush the right palm over the left, keeping the left hand flat and pointing away from you. Also keeping the fingers together. You do it only once to cut off the energy flow from the palms of the hands. And this also signifies your detachment from what you have done. So what did it feel like? Did you feel the energy between the palms of the hands? Did you feel the tingling or the pressure or heat? Leave us your comments. We would love to know what you experienced. Over the last 40 years, the Aetheria Society has taught thousands of spiritual healers around the world through the You Too Can Heal workshop. During this one-day workshop, you will be taught a balanced, easy to learn, yet powerful technique which involves cleansing the patient's aura and sending spiritual energy into most of their major chakras and the area of discomfort. This is done by placing your hands on the patient and through positive visualization. And the aim of this technique is to bring balance and harmony in the aura of the patient, which in turn will be reflected in their physical body. Amazing results have been achieved over the decades with this technique of spiritual healing known as the King Technique. Contact one of our Theory Society locations for more information and book your You Too Can Heal workshop, which is taught to a small group or on a one-to-one -one basis. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't be shy, like, share and comment and help to spread the empowering message of You Too Can Heal.